Yes, today we're creating a cake of Joe Exotic and Carol Baskin, sort of. I'm obsessed with this show. Hi everyone, my name is Jack Hanna. Welcome to Quali Pops. Let's get started. Now if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and let me know in the comments what you think of Tiger King. Have you seen it? Please tell me you have so we can discuss. Now today I'm going to be highlighting organizations that are helping fight COVID-19 and helping people who are deeply affected by this virus. So if you can donate to these organizations or if you can donate time, then please do. Now let's create this cake. Now this is a cute and scary cake, so I'm starting with my PVC pipe system. I'm leaving a little bit of room at the bottom so that I can add some fondant feet for each of my characters. Now, full disclosure, this is not a Joe Exotic and a Carol Baskin cake. This is a Joe Exotic cake because this is a way that he perceives himself as this cute, lovable character. And to him, Carol Baskin is this saber-toothed tiger monster. Now for this cake, I'm using two four inch cakes to create the body of my characters, support systems, as well as two six inch round cakes or half dome cakes to create each of my characters heads. Now the thing that I loved about this show was that it would be the worst soap opera you've ever seen if none of this was real. But because it's so real and unbelievable, it kind of messes with your mind. These situations and these characters are actual people in America somewhere. It's crazy. And I'm excited to see them do more things with it. Netflix. You're making more series out of this, right? Because I'm, I'm ready to watch. Now for the kawaii side, I am not going to carve at all. But for the Carol Baskin monster side, I carved a little bit by her mouth so I could give her a nice grill. I made her eyes more sunken in to add more depth so that she could have a more realistic monster look. I also carved away a, a little bit at the belly because I didn't want her to be that plump. After that, I started to work on all of my features. Now, I decided to go with two pictures that I really liked of Carol Baskin and Joe Exotic. For Carol Baskin, I'm using the one where she has like that halo of flowers because she thinks she's an angel. And she has this really nice blouse. And for Joe Exotic, I went with a picture where he has this really bright tiger striped blue shirt. For me, it's a little too much, but for him, that's his style. That's great. So to create Carol Baskins, I'm giving her some white loafers and then adding some blue fondant to create her jeans. For Joe Exotic, he's wearing, I think he's wearing like khaki in that picture. So I'm using some beige fondant to give him a nice set of khakis. Then I start to create like each of their like clothes. So for Joe Exotic, we got that nice tiger print going on and I made sure to like have a lot of its chest showing because in the picture you can see a lot of that and I wanted to, that to be accurate. <laughs> create the Carol Baskin like blouse, I marbled three colors of fondant. I marbled pink, yellow, and this really nice red at the end. And I love the blouse, the way that it falls on her, but I also love the way that I recreated it for this cake. Now we got four sets of hands going on and for Carol Baskin's hands I'm actually going to add a little bit more detail later on because I didn't think they looked scary enough and I wanted to have like very long gangly looking fingers so I'm going to do that later. For Joe Exotic, nah. His hands are cute because he's pretty cute in this picture. This is not an accurate depiction of either of these people. I actually defended Carol Baskin because I like the fact that she's running a sanctuary as opposed to a zoo, but they're actually pretty similar. <laughs> Except she's not killing baby tigers, you know? I don't think she's as big a monster as Joe Exotic depicts her to be, but also he's not this extremely cute, lovable character either. Very manipulative, you know, he took advantage of a lot of his workers. Um, so the depiction of him being cute is false. 
Now to create my character's head, I'm gonna cover the cake with some skin tone colored fondant. I just wrapped it around, cut away the excess, and left the seams on the sides because I'll be able to cover it with hair later on so you won't see them. Then I started to create the Carol Baskin monster. I'm just using some fondant tools to kind of emphasize and exaggerate all of the wrinkles that she has on her face. I'm exaggerating them a lot. <laughs> Again, this is not an accurate depiction. Joe Exotic sees her as this saber-toothed tiger monster and so that's why I decided to create bags under her eyes. She got a lot of wrinkles under her eyes. In actuality, she has a very likable face, but this cake doesn't depict that at all. Now for Joe Exotic, look, we're doing the exact same thing. We're just creating a false image of him. Very cute eyes, very cute smile, and that kawaii handlebar mustache, man. It is, it is just adorable. I never thought I'd be creating a character that had a handlebar mustache or a mullet, and yet they're both really cool when you're doing a kawaii version. Oh my god, look at that beach blonde mullet. That's so cute. <laughs> I love it. He may not look like that in real life, but this version's really cute. Oh, but this Carol Baskin hair. It's not. It's, it's looking terrible. Let's create her hair. I just made it so that there was a part the way that it's parted in her picture. Then I started to work on her mouth. Yeah, I needed to make sure that there was a really big space in her mouth so that I could create a really nice grill, you know. When I knew I was creating a Carol Baskin monster, I wanted it to be like a tiger monster or her like mutating into a tiger, which is why that a lot of the human features like her teeth and her eyes are not human, but tiger. So we got some really sharp teeth going on. I modeled these after like the monsters in um, Where the Wild Things Are. <laughs> also, if you're in quarantine, that's a really good movie to watch right now. But then I also gave her some saber tooth tiger teeth on the end. Oh, I think they look pretty nice. After that, it was time to create the flower halo. I just wrapped a strand of fondant around and then added some green and pink details to create the leaves and the flowers. God, I see a lot of people in Coachella wearing these. They look better wearing them than this cake. It's funny because it looks so delicate on her forehead and then the rest of her looks like trash. <laughs> After that, it was time to start painting. And the way that I painted this was the way that I paint my action figures. When I'm painting an action figure and I want it to look distressed, I paint the entire surface and just wipe away the excess with a clean, cloth that was soaked in magic sauce. I wipe away most of it, but all of the food coloring that I painted into the crevices stays because I couldn't reach it with a cloth. And in doing so, it highlights all of the wrinkles that I created on the character. I'm adding on some very ugly hands because I wanted them to look more gangly. I'm giving them the same sort of treatment that I did with the face. And then I started to add some detail to her blouse. So she had like this leopard print on her blouse and I'm just adding that with some black food coloring. I'm dirtying up her pants with some black food coloring as well. And I thought that she deserved a manicure. So I added a little bit of nail polish and then moved on to adding makeup to her face. Ooh, she's looking pretty with that lipstick. And she got some eyeshadow going on. Oh. It looks terrible. <laughs> I decided to give her mascara too. I just, I just wanted to highlight her eyes just a little bit. Now, like I said, this is a human tiger hybrid. So for her eyes, I added tiger eyes. I made them this greenish yellow and then surrounded them with black and gave her some tiger pupils. Now I wanted it to have a little bit more tiger detail and I thought it'd be a really interesting idea to take her mascara and just have it like running down her face like tiger stripes. And it worked out really well because in the final product, voila, 
It looks pretty bomb. I am super pleased with the way that this cake came out. It was like the perfect cute and scary cake to create. Because Joe Exotic really does believe that she's like the worst person in the world. Think about the worst person you know, and she's like 10 times that. I'm curious, what did you think of the Tiger King? Which one of the terrible people was your favorite terrible person of the series? There's a lot to choose from. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you're staying home. I hope you're staying safe. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace!